Hi there, good day and welcome to TechWatiyar. I am Janira. In this video, we are going to see the analysis and synthesis of combinational logic circuits using logism for implementation and verification of decoder using logic gates. So this is the block diagram of a decoder. It is an n to 2 to the power n decoder. So there are n inputs and 2 to the power n outputs. The name decoder means to translate or decode a coded information from one format to another. A digital decoder transforms a set of digital inputs to an equivalent decimal code at its output. So the decoder is a combinational circuit that converts binary information from n input lines to a maximum of 2 to the power n unique output lines. So first let us see a 2 to 4 binary decoder. So I told you there are n input lines which will be converted to 2 power n unique output lines. So when there are 2 input lines it will be converted to 2 to the power 2 which is 4 output lines. And a decoder usually comes with an enable input. So the output is generated only when this enable value is 1 otherwise all the outputs are 0. So this is the circuit diagram and this is the truth table of a 2 to 4 binary decoder. Now we are going to use the logism software to perform our 2 to 4 binary decoder. So for this purpose we need two inputs, we need two not gates so that not gate is available here or you can also pick it from here so we have two not gates pick it place it and we need four and gates so this is one two three and four so four and gates and then we have to draw some lines from here for our wire connections so we have four outputs from the AND gates and this is the output pin so this is the input pin and this is the output pin so you pick the output pin you place it here it shows E which is an error that is because we have not made any input connections still so once you've finished connecting your outputs we can start connecting the wires here in between and from here we have a connection that goes to the first AND gate. From here we'll take the connection to the second AND gate. Alright and from here it will go here. From here we'll take it to these gates. And from here we'll go here. Alright, so we just give the connections. All the connections are over. So that's all. Now we have to give one more signal or one more input which is common to all the logic AND gates. And that input is nothing but our enable signal. Right? So we can name it so that we don't get confused. We call I call it as A0, we'll call this as A1, we'll call this as our enable signal, so we'll call this D0, D1, D2 and D3. So that's it. We have named everything. Now we can try the input and output combination. So we move to this hand tool So for changing the input values. So when enable is 0, no matter how much you change the inputs, your output will be always 0 for all combinations. Alright, but when you change your enable to 1, when it is 0, 0, we have an output here at D0. When it is 0, 1, we have an output here at D1. When it is 1, 0, our D2 works. And when it is 1, 1, we have an output here at D3. So instead of having these output pins, we can also have some LEDs to see our outputs. So for that purpose, here at input output, we have an LED here. So you can just click on this 
output pin will delete these things instead of that we will try replacing it with LEDs all right so first LED second output third output and fourth output right so now it is one one when this is zero so we have to move to the hand tool when this is zero everything is off when this is one at zero zero your d naught glows when it is zero one your d one glows when it is one zero we have an output at d2 and when it is one one we have an output at d3 so this is how we perform a two to four decoder using logison software now let us see a three to eight binary decoder so this is a binary to octal converter. So n input lines here there are three input lines which is converted to 2 to the power n or 2 to the power 3 which is eight output lines. So this is the circuit diagram and this is the truth table. So now we will implement the 3 to 8 decoder using logism software. So by now we can implement any circuit with logic gates. So we will try a different method for implementing this decoder. So here out of these many functions we have one set called plexers. So we will expand this and over here you have multiplexer, demultiplexer, decoder, priority encoder and bit selector. So we will select this decoder directly and place it on our screen. So here this is the number of bits available in this particular decoder is only one. So over here we can select it. We want a 3 to 8 decoder. So I'll select it as 3. So once we select it as 3, the number of outputs here has also increased. So we can directly give the connections here. So this is one and this is another one. All right. So immediately we will give our inputs also. So this will be my enable pin and this will be my input pin. But it says that the width is incompatible because this has three inputs, right? So what do I do? I select my input and the data bits here, I change it to three. So when I do that, you see that the bits are expanded. So you can give three inputs directly here. And this one has multiple outputs so we'll just drag it out so we can just check all our outputs one by one i'm doing this so that it is easier for us to see and verify so i'll just put the outputs one by one We can do this with the logic gates also, but this is a much simpler way. So I have eight outputs here. So what do I do now? I have zero, 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 and here also I have a zero. I haven't changed the value. I go to the hand tool. I haven't changed the value of my enable bit. So all of this is, a, is like in don't care condition. Okay, so I change this to one. And my first bit, I have an output here. So I can also name them here. I can call this as my enable bit. And I can call this as A0, A1, and A2, or the other way around. So I can name this D0, D1, D2, D3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 right so that it will be easier for us to see the outputs so now i give it as i change the input i use the hand tool i change the input to 001 one. d1 is working d1 glows and then i have 010 there is d2 011 you can see the change in d3 I'll change this both back to 100, D4, 101, D5, 
one one zero I have d6 and triple one I have d7 so I am generating unique output combinations by changing my input combinations so this is how the decoder works now we are going to perform a decoder with min term in order to realize a full adder circuit so earlier we discussed about a 3 to 8 decoder that is binary to octal converter using this 3 to 8 decoder we will be able to realize a full adder circuit that is sum will be by combining the sum of 1 2 4 and 7 at the output and the carry bit will be the sum of 3 5 6 and 7 so by adding all these min terms we can realize the sum and carry outputs so this is the truth table and this is the circuit diagram so now we are going to realize our full adder circuit using this decoder circuit that we just created so this is a 3 to 8 decoder we are going to use this and create a full adder circuit. So for that, I will click here on this plus symbol to add a new circuit. I'll call my circuit as a full adder. Okay, so now I click on main. So when I click on main, whatever circuit is there in this particular main page will be created as one full complete block. So I can come back to my full adder screen and I can place the block. So when I do that, this main screen, this entire thing is converted into one single block. I can double click and I can shift between the pages. So now here I can take some wires out or uh, let me give the inputs first and then connect it to make it look neat. So I have two inputs. So this is the first one. It goes here. And this is the second one. We'll take it here. Okay. So here this one has to be three bits. So I can change it here to three input bits. So this is fine now. And here I have eight bits as my output. And we just learned that for creating a full adder circuit, we need sum and carry. That is done by two OR gates. So I just connect two logic OR gates. And we know that sum is a combination of 1, 2, 4 and 7 pins. So here I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. I have totally 8 pins. I leave off 0. I am not using it. I connect the first pin. Pin 1, I connect it to my OR gate. From OR gate, I have two outputs. So I'll connect the outputs later. 1 is connected. 2 is connected. not 3 I am connecting 4 here and I am connecting my 7th pin here so that is my connections for the first OR gate which represents the sum for the second OR gate I have 3 here that is the third pin okay something is wrong yes and then I connect my fifth pin, I connect my sixth pin and I connect my seventh pin once again directly from here. So now I'll connect my outputs also. All right. And I will name my outputs. I'll name this as sum and I will name this as carry. All right. So now I can change the values here enable has to always be one I'll, change, I'll shift to the hand tool so i'll make everything zero so the sum is zero carry is zero you are just adding these three bits okay so when you're adding zero zero and one you get sum as one when you're adding zero one one sum is zero carry is one when it is triple one sum is one carry is one so this way we can check the entire truth table so what have we done here we have used our decoder circuit and we have created a full adder by just summing up the min terms using two OR gates. So this is how we realize other circuits using our decoder. 
So there are a lot of applications using decoders. They are used in code conversion. They are used in memory systems, in distribution of data, in demultiplexing, in memory decoding, data routing, timing or sequencing signals. So there are a lot of applications where these decoders can be used. I hope you had a fun time learning. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.